And we're back! Thanks so much for tuning in to Nerd News with Destiny. I'm Destiny. And I'm here to tell you what the heck is going on in WandaVision so you're all caught up and in the know for the new episode that drops on Friday on Disney+. Plus. Now this contains spoilers and we have three episodes to talk about so let's not delay without further ado. Let's talk television. Alright, it should be common knowledge by now, but I will fill you in in case you don't know, Wanda Maximoff is my favorite Marvel character of all time. I have a lot of thoughts about her as a character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but now's not the time. Now is the time to talk about WandaVision, which is this wonderfully strange and nostalgic television show that we are all hopefully enjoying together, being confused about together. I want to break this down as easily as possible, right? So we're going to talk about things we do know. Things that we understand to be true about this show, little things that you may not know, and little things that I didn't know until I did some research and consulted my comics. And then things that we think we know, and then things that we absolutely do not know and we're waiting to be spoon fed. So let's start with the things we do know. The things we do know span from the concrete, like Wanda and Vision are both there, to um, things like Time is a little weird, right? Something's not quite right. And it seems like everybody's in on it, right? And not only that, we understand that Wanda understands that she's controlling this narrative to some degree, right? So in every episode, we've seen her be able to use her powers to sort of create the world around her the way that she wants it. For instance, when that strange beekeeper came up out of the sewers, she did not like that situation. So she said, no. In the scene, just like television, reset itself and started over and they were just happy that she was magically pregnant out of nowhere. That's something else we know. Um, she has children, twins, named Tommy and Billy. We'll get to that later. Uh, we know that Vision is somehow back from the dead. Now, is he part of this false reality that she's created? Hmm, that remains to be seen. We also know that Geraldine, that's you know her friend who comes over in the third episode and helps her deliver the babies, we know that Geraldine is working for an anti-terrorism space shield, if you will. It's called S.W.O.R.D., right? And this is an anti-terrorism group created by mutants. And Geraldine is actually named Monica Rambeau, and she's a mutant named Spectrum. Now, if you're familiar with the last name Rambeau, that's because in Captain Marvel, Maria Rambeau was Captain Marvel's best friend. And Maria Rambeau had a daughter named Monica Rambeau. And if you remember, uh, Captain Marvel took place in the early 90s and so she's all grown up now which is exciting but we also understand about sword is that they're monitoring this situation and it seems that they put Geraldine inside the situation right we don't know why we'll get to that later oh we also know that Hydra is somewhat of a variable here we don't know if there's still an intact organization at this point or if all of these commercials within WandaVision, Wanda's, are associated with some of Wanda's memories, if you recall. So, is Hydra a thing? At least it is in the commercials in the show. So we also know that at some point, according to IMDb, you can look this up yourself, uh, Darcy Lewis will be in this show. If you remember Darcy Lewis, she is the friend of Thor and Jane, and so uh, we'll get to where I think that connects soon. But it's a fact and we know it. <laughs> um, we also know for a fact that Vision is dead. Um, we saw that happen and um, there he stands with gloriously feathered hair. And it's nice to see Paul Bettany's actual face every once in a while. He's a handsome man. And let's segue into the things we think we know, which is... Okay, look, I've had this theory for a while and I'm not the only person who had this theory. I don't think like I'm unique or anything. But I think the powers that be... Um, are taking from the plot line of the 2005 Brian Michael Bendis run of comics called House of M. And in these comics, um, Wanda has just the biggest mental breakdown. Vision has died and she cannot cope with that and sort of Pietro inspires her to create this false reality. He doesn't do it on purpose, but inspires her to create this false reality and she does, where her family is royalty, everyone is happy and everything is fine. Vision is alive and she sort of succumbs people into this false reality where they're seeing this in their head and believing it's real life. Um, and in that comic, uh, the X-Men are like, maybe we should kill her, she's really powerful. And the Avengers are like, yeah, maybe. 
And Pietro's like, please don't. And then he goes to Magneto and he's like, I don't know, maybe we should kill her. She's super powerful. And Pietro's like, um, don't though. And so some major things from that plot line is in that false reality, they have children, Vision and Wanda, uh, twins named Tommy and Billy, just like they do in the show. Now, when the false reality comes crumbling down, essentially, Wanda in House of M says, no more mutants. And with those three words, she depowers like 75% of all of the mutants across the world. And it's this really big, terrible thing, right? Also in that plot line, it's very convoluted. I suggest that you go read it. I enjoy it. It is flawed, but I enjoy it. Um, uh, somehow through magic, um, the souls of Billy and Tommy get put into two real life children who are born to separate families yet still remain twins. They end up coming together and meeting one another and understanding that they're brothers. Now Billy becomes Wiccan as he's later called and he has powers just like Wanda. And Tommy becomes Speed as he's later called and he has powers just like Pietro. And he also has white hair and they're very funny together in the comics. I wish they were together more. Anyway, so pulling from these ideas, it seems like we're setting up for this sort of situation, which also leads us into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Doctor Strange is a key player in helping Wanda and helping sort of reconstruct reality. Um, so it'll be interesting to see whether Doctor Strange appears in this series um, or if he's just gonna be relegated to his own movie or what. Um, but I think that that is pretty interesting and I'm betting money that they're leaning into that to some description. Now, Sword has nothing to do with the alternate reality or whatever in the comics. So they're definitely taking some liberties and mixing some storylines to bring in other characters, which is super cool. It also leads me to the assumption that Darcy Lewis is gonna be in this show because it's some sort of tie to Thor, Love and Thunder, um, which is where we're gonna get Jane as Thor, um, which is pretty interesting as well. But I have honestly no clue why else she would be there. Or like, I also don't know how they're gonna tie the movie to the show. We'll see, regardless. I also think that they may be setting up for the Young Avengers because as House of M goes on, um, Billy and Tommy end up having to rescue um, Wanda from Doctor Doom and they assemble the Young Avengers, which is uh, Billy, Tommy, Patriot, Hawkeye, Kate, who we're getting a show of, and um, also Cassie, which is Ant-Man's daughter, and Hulkling, who is uh, Billy's boyfriend, later becomes Billy's boyfriend. He is part squirrel. So anyway, I think they may be setting up for something like that. So that may be our next phase of superheroes, but they also could introduce the mutants this way as well. Now, Kevin Feige has said that mutants won't be in the MCU for a long time, as we know them. We'll see. I'm pretty excited because I love Hank McCoy and Hank McCoy is part of uh, S.W.O.R.D. And you know Hank McCoy, that's Beast from X-Men. Um, anyway, uh, we'll see how this goes. Emma Frost in the comics ha also has a hand in this whole situation, and as you know, she's another one of my favorite M Marvel characters. I almost said MCU. Uh, <laughs> she's also one of my favorite Marvel characters, so we'll see if she also gets brought in. I'm being too hopeful, and I understand that. So let's move on to the things that we definitely don't know and we're waiting to be spoon-fed. So we don't know to what degree S.W.O.R.D. is playing a role in being able to control this narrative, right? Is Wanda doing all the controlling and they're just sending people in, hoping for the best to monitor her, weaponize her? We don't really know what their reasoning for being there is, right? We also don't know to what degree Hydra is playing a role. So we see Hydra in these commercials that are all linked to memories of Wanda's. But are they still a terrorism group that is theoretically the foil to S.W.O.R.D.? I do not know. Oh, so Vision is dead, that we do know, but is he gonna come back in the real world? Um, in House of M, he doesn't come back. So are the kids gonna exist outside? Um, that would also throw away a bunch of my theories if they did not exist in the outside world. Um, so we'll see. And I mean, there are lots of questions, but those are some of my biggest ones right now. Um, as we ended episode three, 
Wanda and Vision have their children. Vision is becoming increasingly suspicious of their surroundings despite Wanda's bid to control the narrative. Geraldine, aka Monica Rambeau, uh, was tossed out of the uh, Westview area, um, Wanda's reality if you will. Um, so I think we're gonna see more of S.H.I.E.L.D. next episode, but I can't wait. It drops on Friday on Disney+. Plus. So please let me know what you're thinking of the show right now. Are you enjoying it? Um, this is our first like Marvel show of the ones that are all slated and so far so good in my opinion. It's super weird, but I think it's really fun as well. I like the campiness of it. Um, let me know your opinions about it. Please tweet me. I'm on Twitter. I post pictures of my dog, if that's any incentive for you to follow. It should be. He's very cute. Um, and also, I just want to chat with you about comic stuff, respectfully. This is my Twitter. And I'll block you. I mean, I probably won't. You know what I mean. Anyway, tweet me. I put my Twitter up somewhere. Later me. Make sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit me up on social media. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, uh, this. check out the rebrand. Thank you, marketing department at KGW. I'm really appreciative. We got new graphics, we got a new name and all that stuff. So I will see you guys soon. Same place, same-ish time. And until then, this has been Nerd News with Destiny.